Howdy partners, the sun's setting low on the LEGO frontier and that can only mean one thing, it's time for the grand finale of my western saloon series. Today we're throwing open the saloon doors wide and inviting you to witness the grandeur of this fine establishment just before it will be joined with the rest of this incredible collaboration with Spudui Mito as the prime jewel of our town. So settle up and join me in the final showdown as I present to you this grand masterpiece of western folk life where cards are dealt, bullets are fired and whiskey flows as the Mississippi River. And let's get started right now. Alrighty, but even though it's the finale of our series, we still need to finish this mock first because as you've seen in the previous episode, we still have a bunch of things to do. But first things first, if you've been watching the last two episodes, you should already know this but this saloon I'm making is just a small part of a much bigger town taking up over 8 meters in length that is a collaborative effort of many members of Zbuduj Mytholag and it will have its premiere this weekend on Targi Hobby in Poznań. As this video is published, we are actually setting up the whole thing there, so if you have that opportunity, make sure you come and see the whole thing live because it's definitely something worth seeing with your own eyes. But if you can't make it, I got you covered cowboy because the next video you'll see here on the channel will be a full tour of the collaboration so make sure you subscribe and click on that bell to get notified when it's out. And trust me, it's not something you want to miss on. Believe me. Trust. But with that out of the way, let's get to building because we still have a lot of things to do before it's ready for the exhibition. And to even be able to start anything, we need some new parts. As you probably know, Bricklink has been down in the worst moment possible for me, but luckily I managed to get the parts I needed on Brick Owl, so let's see what I got, shall we? So first, we have some snot bricks both one by one, as well as some one by four, along with the most important parts for the front deck being the inverted slopes. Next are some plates and tiles that I needed to restock as I used up all the ones I had, so I have here some 1x6 and 1x8, with also a big wedge part which I probably won't use here, but it'll get handy someday. I also got some 1x1 brackets that I will need for the stairs, some 1x1 modified tiles with bars mostly for the railing on the upper deck, and finally, some random pieces that may or may not be used, but again, I needed to restock since I have none left after this build. So that's the haul, but I also have something I didn't have to buy, but I did myself. This is a huge advantage of being a graphic designer and working at a print house, I could design my own stickers and print them on sticky transparent foil, having a lot of wood patterns for floors, barrel covers, windows and of course a saloon sign that will be a destination waypoint for all of the thirsty wanderers traveling through our town. And with all of that in our inventory, we can finally get to some building. And let's start with the left side of the building which needed some finishing of the ground and here I made some medium nougat terrain as the rest of the mock with just a couple of plants, a brown bush and even a snake that I had to steal from my Indiana Jones mock. But as you can see, nothing extraordinary from this side, but at least I have a clear conscience with not leaving any parts of the build without details, so I guess we're good here. So now, let's get back to the front of the building and let's replace all of the miscolored parts with the brand new ones I got from the hole, and with that, both decks are finally looking as they should. Man, I love how it turned out. I was excited with it the last time, but now with the correct colors, I can really appreciate the technique I used here because the 45 degree angle looks just perfect. So shout out to whoever invented this technique, because without it, the look of the deck would be much worse, I think. Now, since we're here downstairs, why not make use of the stickers I got and let's take care of the windows. Go ahead. 
I made for them just a simple green frame that will refer to the saloon doors and I have to say that it's looking very good. Even though these stickers are a bit porous in their texture, in this case it adds even more realism to the build so I have nothing to complain. But you're probably wondering why this middle window is empty. Well don't you worry about that cause I have a plan for this place that will be a really fun addition but you'll need to wait a bit more for that. Take it easy now will you? Now since we're making the bottom floor still, let's now switch the brackets in the staircase going to the upper deck with the correct color. I've been using this technique for years and it's still the best one for me so I just had to incorporate it here and of course it looks as good as always. So now with the outside done, let's go inside the saloon because this is where most of the work is left still. As I said in the previous episode, I didn't have the printed tiles to finish up the floor behind the bar and this is where the stickers will come in handy. I decided to take a bunch of 2x2 tiles since I have a lot of them left and just make stickers for those, so let's do that now. Ok and now that we have a bunch of those, it's time to finish the floor, bring back the bar and the cabinet and we have this part perfectly finished. And with the bar out of the way, let's get back to the open window we left in the front because I finally want to show you the idea I have for it. It shouldn't be a surprise to any western fan but from the beginning I wanted to do a scene with the bar fight which ended with one of the patrons being thrown out of the window, breaking it in parts. Later I will of course add the one throwing the deputy out of the window, but for now I think we're good here so let's finally move on to the upper floor. So first we need to add the whole story that will be making up the two rooms I'm planning to add here mostly prepared off screen and with that in place we can make the walls made of course in the same style as the rest of the building, this time with a small window and connect it all with the bottom floor using 1x8 tiles I also got in the latest haul. Ok so now let's move to the front facade and make the remaining walls of our saloon. The first window from the left I made covered with some newspapers because I want to hide what will be in that room that we'll talk about in just a second and for the rest I'm using some regular glass elements with a couple being ones with broken glass stickers I got from some hidden side set I think. The same pattern of course I'm using on the right side wall with one added detail here and that is the ladder heading up to the roof since there will be no windows here and I wanted to cover the blank wall. The ladder I made with two flex tubes and some clip bars in between, which I think is a nice technique I just came up with. And of course, we need the entryway on the upper deck, so here I'm using some regular door elements, this time in dark green, which should be nicely working with the green door on the bottom floor. But what I really was looking forward to is the wall piece above the doorway on which I need to add a sticker with the saloon name. Here I made it in two sizes because I wanted to check out how it would look, but I guess the smaller one looks way better here so let's leave it at that. And with this added, it's already making the facade looking great, so one more thing to finish it up, let's add some horizontally placed boards that will connect the walls to the roof. But before we start making the roof itself, I think we should finish up the interior as it will be much easier to work here without the added layer covering it all. Yeah, you're right. So let's just add the troublemaker throwing out the deputy first and we can start with the upper floor. The back room is not that important so let's just add some random bricks here to hold what is coming and we can add the wall which I decided to make with some dark green wooden panels made with masonry bricks from the bottom 
and a medium nougat wall stained with some dark tan spots above. And now it's time to add what is going inside. The original LEGO battery pack that will power the two lights I will incorporate here, one being a lantern above the bar and the other one casting the light on the main saloon hall. Now I just need to separate the two rooms with a similar wall just to cover the battery pack and we can move on to the second room for which I had a neat plan since the beginning of this build. But first, let's make use of some more stickers and make some wooden boards for the floor. In the room, I just made a couple of furniture pieces just to cover the light shining on the bar. And now we can cover the floor with these beautiful boards. Ok, now that we have the floor nicely covered, we can add the wall with the doorway, some pillars holding it all in place and now let's check out what I wanted to add in this room. In every playthrough of Red Dead Redemption, it's a regular thing to get yourself cleaned up in the saloon bathroom, so I wanted to add it here as well with some guy taking a bath, with of course a little help from one of the saloon girls. Every cowboy needs a helping hand after all. Ah oh, yes, I think so. Alright, so with the room done, we still need the upper deck inside, so here again I'm using some masonry bricks with a quite irregular shape made with slopes to fit the doors, and of course a couple of pillars holding it from below. Now let's just add a set of stairs, a railing so that our drunk patrons won't fall down after taking a few shots too much, and finally let's add a wooden beam mostly to cover up the cable going from the battery pack to the main chandelier shedding light on the main floor. And this way we have the interior finished completely and I gotta say that it's exactly what I was hoping for. Even though the interior won't be visible for people watching the collab at the convention, I just had to make it perfect not only to satisfy my quest for perfection in every build I make, but also for all of you guys who are watching it here on the channel. This is so weird. Alright, let's stop with the self delight because we need to put a roof over it all and that I made off screen as well because it's not the most exciting piece to talk about but I tried to make it as much detailed as possible just to make it a worthy finishing to the whole building. And now with the roof connected making the whole building much sturdier we can add a finishing touch with some wooden boards all around and that should complete the whole saloon I think. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, right. I still need a railing on the outside, so let's make use of the rest of the parts I've ordered and make a quick but elegant one all along the edge of the deck. Now all we gotta do is connect the front base plate with the horse pen that I've already rounded up with a neat little fence using a whole lot of my printed stickers, added some hay for the horses, a couple of water trucks, and a bunch of other details like for example these telegraph posts that will be going all along the whole collab and with that we have the entire mock completed. So now let me just place the remaining minifigures and animals all around and let's check out the short cinematic showing the entire scene I made so grab a bottle of moonshine, sit down, relax and enjoy the finished saloon. Alright friends, come along and enjoy the spectacle.
that concludes our journey my friends. I had a lot of fun making these scenes and I will for sure be pleased even more when I connect my part to all of the others that my luck mates were building. So once more I invite you to the hobby fair in Poznan this weekend and back to my channel in a week or two to see the collab video in its full glory. And what's in store after that you ask? Well, I will probably make a video from the whole convention to show you guys what awesome builds are we making and then I need a break. Not a break from the channel for sure, but from building because it's been a hell of a year with all of the mocks I made. But don't worry, I still have some ideas for content here on Qbrick that I plan to roll out while I take apart my mocks and we'll be back to building soon after I sort all of my pieces because I have a lot of great ideas on what to build next year. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the content I make and of course smack that like button if you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments what did you like the most. But for now, I guess we're done here so I will see some of you guys on Targi Hobby this weekend and the rest of you in the next video here on Kubrick. And until then, as always, make sure you keep it breaking.